Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Champions League because it's just match day 6, the last group stages games before it gets into an all knockout competition. Anyway, there's a lot to predict so guys I want to get straight down to this so guys you know what to do, a big fuck was that doing your eyes, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to try to predict is PSG vs Club Bruges. PSG have not really had a bad Champions League uh, competition this year, uh, this season. With Club Bruges, I'm going to try to predict this game one way, and that's a PSG win, and that's a quite comfortably 2 0 PSG win. My next one is RB Leipzig versus Manchester City. RB Leipzig is a team that Tom Ravenna came from. Uh, you know, they are a pretty strong common where they're based. Um, but anyway, Manchester City obviously got top of the Premier League the previous weekend. I know it's a different competition and I know it's a bit different. But because of that, because I think Manchester City going to belong sky high, I'm going to go for a 3-1 Manchester City win. My next one is AC Milan versus Liverpool. AC Milan are, you know, doing a can this year's competition. Who can forget? I think it's 2006 where AC Milan and Liverpool played each other in the Champions League final. I could be wrong. It could be earlier. It could be a bit later, but I know it's around that sort of era. Um, but yeah, so the replay of the final cut this uh, Champions League match day six. And funny enough, it's how it was. I think AC Milan were the home team. I can't quite remember where it was played. It was where it played at San Zero. It is at a neutral venue. Uh, Liverpool, this is going to be a very interesting game. Are AC Milan going to, you know, get. I'm going to go for a draw, I think. And I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Porto versus Atletico Madrid. Porto and Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid probably, I'll probably just, you know, give them a shout more over Porto just about, just because of the size of their squad and, you know, what players they've got. It's, you know, it's going to make it probably a bit, a bit more easier for me to call. So I'm going to go for a Atletico Madrid win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Atletico Madrid group. My next one is Dortmund versus Besiktas. Dortmund are having a really bad competition this year. I did watch their game against Ajax in match day 4 I believe it was. And you know I did actually quite predict that game quite one of me. Um, but on the other side of that I think Dortmund did have a very good uh, first half in the start of match day four against Ajax and you know it just changed in the second half and we got up against a Besiktas squad that you know ain't had a, that bad of a competition but I think Besiktas will just win this one after what I saw against Dortmund and Ajax and Dortmund did lose in match day five as well so I'm gonna go for a yeah again a 2-1 Besiktas win my next one is Ajax versus Sporting Lisbon. Ajax are having a great competition. I think they won the last match as well against Besiktas. I know Sporting beat Dortmund. And let's just move this one on and try and predict it. I'm going to go with Ajax win and I'm going to go quite close to the 3-1 Ajax win. My next one is Real Madrid versus Inter Milan. Real Madrid are, you know, having an okay uh, year this year. Don't know where they are quite in La Liga, but, you know, it's a different competition. Going off against an international squad that ain't, you know, ain't doing too bad either. I'm going to go for a draw, I think, and I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is Shakhtar Donetsk versus Sheriff. Now, I've actually seen the Sheriff's Brown on camera. I ain't actually been there myself. And to be honest, it's quite a small ground. Uh, fair play to Sheriff for actually 
you know, have a gun this competition and where they're based, I can't quite where they're based, but you know, the actual club name owns everything and you know, it's just one of those things. But going up against Shakhtar Donet away from home, quite comfortably, Shakhtar Donet win by two goals to nil. My next one is Juventus versus Malmo. Now, I did see Malmo play at Stamford Bridge a couple of months back and you can catch a vlog on my channel as well. And I'll leave, I'll leave the playlist up at the end of this video. And, you know, they weren't too bad, to be honest. You know, they got great support. And I don't think they're going to be the same in Italy when they play Juventus, and I'm sure they will be. Uh, but going off against the Juventus squad, a very strong Juventus squad. So I'm going to go for a... 4-0 Juventus win. My next one is St. Petersburg versus Chelsea. Yet again, Chelsea did lose to West Ham this previous weekend in the Premier League, and I know it's a different competition altogether. So, you know, I could put that in. It may not even, you know, but I thought I'd say that because it can play a bit of a negative uh, thoughts in Chelsea players and Thomas uh, Tuka. It's going to be a very interesting game, I've got to predict Chelsea to win this game and I'm going to go for a 3-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Benfica versus Dynamo Kiev. Yet again, really don't know much about the two clubs if I'm being brutally honest. I've just seen, I can see the fixture for the other group as well, that's going to be very, very interesting to talk about in just a minute. Benfica, I think I'm more slightly having a better competition. So I'm going to go for a 1-0 Benfica win. My next one is Bar Munich versus Barcelona. Bar Munich versus Barcelona. Now Barcelona did lose their first game uh, in La Liga this previous weekend under their new management for the first game they've lost under their new, new management as well. Bar Munich are very strong in Germany, especially at the Allianz Arena. So I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester United versus Young Boys. And speaking of United versus Young Boys, there will be a watch along to this game on my channel. So if you can't get it, come on my channel and I'll be doing a watch along to it. Um, Man United are, you know, won their first game under their caretaker manager against Crystal Palace. But... Let's look on the other side of this. Young Boys did beat Man United in match day one on the reverse fixture. Could that play a key part? But while I was watching on the United game and I've done a watch along to Man United Crystal Palace, very boring, very, very boring. Uh, to be honest, I thought Palace more likely got a chance to win it, but United did win it with a thread, uh, amazing goal. But there's no real cut edge. Do I? So I want either going to go a draw or a young boys win. I'll go for a draw and I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. As I said, you can come and find out with me how that game goes on Wednesday. The next one is Atlanta versus Villarreal. The other game, Group F. Uh, Villarreal probably just more slightly uh, favourite in this game. You know, it's uh, one of them things, but so I'm going to go for a Villarreal win. I think a Villarreal win as well, and United win. I think I might put them both through. I don't think, I can't quite remember Man United like, gone through with the last result against Villarreal. Um, but anyway, yeah, Villarreal win with a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is St. Petersburg versus Slovenia. Uh, very interesting game. I'm not going to talk about both clubs because, you know, I could talk about both clubs all day long and it probably won't change my mind. I won all score line for that one. My last one is Wolfsburg versus LOC, LOSC, uh, or Lille. Uh, you know, Lille's a very good um, team, very good squad. Wolfsburg, exactly the same. I'm going to go for another 1-1 scoreline for that one. 
But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.